Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to convert a fraction into a decimal number. In our previous class we learnt about the decimal representation. 18.50 It is a decimal number as it has a decimal point. Here 18 is the whole number part followed by a decimal point and after the decimal point is the fractional part that is 50 and we call it a decimal fraction. Now if we see the place value of each digit then 1 is at tens place, 8 is at ones place. Now after the decimal point we have the tenth place which is 1 by 10. Next comes is hundredth place which is 1 by 100 and this is followed by thousandths place which is 1 by 1000. So after the decimal point the place value decreases by 10 times as we go towards the right. Now let us see a problem. The distance between Aman's house and his school is 4 km. Let's convert it to a decimal fraction. Let's convert it to a decimal number. 4 km means we put 4 at the 1's place. As they are just 4 km and no fraction parts, so we will put 0 after the point. Hence, 4 km is equal to 4.0 km. Understood? See? Here, 4 km is represented as 4.0 km in form of a decimal number. Now, suppose the distance between Aman's house and school is 4 km and 105 meters. Let us convert this distance into a decimal number. Here, 125 meter is a fraction of 1 kilometer. Why? Because any value between 0 to 999 meter is a fraction of 1 kilometer. And if it is 1000 meters, it can be converted to 1 kilometer. Understood? So, we know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. This means 125 meter is equal to 125 parts out of the 1000 parts. Now let us write 125 in the expanded form. So it is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 5. Now coming to the 100 part. What does 100 meter mean? 100 meter means 100 parts out of the 1000 parts of 1 kilometer. Now let us divide the numerator and the denominator by 100. See, first we divide. What do we get? 100 meter is equal to 1 by 10 of a kilometer. Next, we come to the tenths place, which is 20. So, 20 meter means 20 by 1000 parts of 1 kilometer. Now, here again, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 10. See, what do we get? 20 meter is equal to 2 by 
hundred of one kilometer and five meter is equal to five parts out of the thousand parts of one kilometer so if we write down all the places what do we get hundred meter is equal to one by ten of a kilometer that is it is tenth of a kilometer twenty meter is equal to two by hundred of a kilometer that means it is two hundredth of a kilometer lastly five meter is five by thousand of a kilometer that is it is five thousandth of a kilometer now let's start the conversion four kilometer and one twenty five meter we know one kilometer is equal to thousand meters so this means the position after the decimal point should extend to the thousandth place that's why we have written here tenth hundredth and thousandth place after the decimal point now since there were four kilometers that is the whole number part so we put four at the ones place next we will come to the five meter part so five meter was equal to five by thousand of a kilometer so we write five at the thousandth place so five is written here next we come to the tens place which was 20 so 20 meter is equal to 2 by 100 of a kilometer so 2 goes to the hundredth place see we have written 2 at the hundredth place and lastly coming to the hundredth place in 125 so that was 100 and 100 meter as we saw is equal to 1 by 10 of a kilometer so 1 goes to the 10th position or the 10th place so what do we get we get 4.125 so 4 kilometers and 125 meter can be written as 4. Dot one to five kilometers as a decimal number now here we can write like the distance between Aman's house and his school is 4.125 kilometers now coming to the next problem suppose the distance between Aman's house and the school is 4 kilometer and 65 meters you may find it easy and quickly write it as 4.65 by putting 4 kilometers in one's place and putting 65 after the decimal point but this is wrong and there is a reason behind it we know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter since a kilometer is divided into 1000 meters and any value between 0 and 999 meter will be a fraction of a kilometer so the decimal fraction will stretch to thousandths place as there can be any value in meters between 0 to 999 and we should be able to accommodate it so 65 meter means 65 parts out of the thousand parts that is 65 by 1000 now let us add a zero before 
65 as there are no hundreds in 65 only tens and ones places there now let us write the digits in their correct places since a kilometer is divided into 1000 meters or we can say a kilometer has 1000 meters let's stretch the decimal fraction to the thousands place so that's why we have here tenth hundredth and thousandths place now four is the whole number so it goes to the ones place before the decimal point now we will convert the meters or the fractional part into the decimal fraction number so if we start from the right side 5 goes to the thousandths place next 6 goes to the hundredths place and 0 goes to the tenths place now we got the decimal number it is 4.065 so we wrote 4 kilometer and 65 meter as 4.065 meters in short to convert 4 kilometers and 65 meters to a decimal number first thing we need to do is to find out how many places after the decimal are there as 1 kilometer is divided into 1000 meters the decimal fraction shall extend to the thousandths place that is the place should be able to accommodate three digits starting from 0 up to 999 meter next in 65 meter there is no hundredths place so we can write 65 meter as 065 to avoid confusion and to write down the digits at the wrong places now it becomes easy 4 goes to the ones place and it is the whole number part next for the fractional part 0 goes to the tenth place 6 goes to the hundredth place and 5 goes to the thousandths place this way we get the correct decimal number so we can say the distance between Aman's house and the school is 4.065 kilometers that's all for now bye bye children